today we are going out to look at some of the big trees of Philadelphia. If you go out in almost any direction between the northeast to the southwest, there are probably a hundred champion trees and it's a really fun thing to go look for them. We're standing in front of a chestnut oak, Corsus Montana. What I like about this tree is that I think this could be one of the very oldest trees in Philadelphia. Going back to really old maps, it doesn't seem like this property ever was developed. It was a private property before it was a park. I don't think there was ever a building on it. And this tree could have been here when William Penn came. It could be one of the original Penn trees. But trees don't really grow straight up, which is what we imagine. There's a twist to the wood, which makes it actually a lot stronger, like the way that a rope is stronger if it's twisted. And this tree is old enough that you can really see this little twist in the trunk. General cemeteries are a great place to look for big trees because there's a lot of open space. The trees can get really big, they can spread out, they often have a lot of sunlight, and the soil tends to be very rich in cemeteries. The trees that we're looking at here at the Woodlands today are elm trees. And as a horticulturist, I barely know what an elm tree looks like because elm trees were, have been pretty much wiped out by um, a disease, the Dutch elm disease. And these predated the cemetery itself. These were probably planted by William Hamilton, who was a gentleman horticulturist, incredibly wealthy. He owned the Woodlands Mansion, um, and he imported a lot of uh, European and Asian plants. He was the first one to bring a lot of them to the United States. This poor tree right here is a little worse for wear, but I think it might have one of the most interesting pedigrees of all the trees in Philadelphia. We are at Historic Bartram's Garden in Southwest Philly, and this is a yellow wood tree. Just like the other trees we've looked at, no one knows exactly when it was planted, but the educated guess is that the seeds from this tree could have come from a French explorer, Michaud, who sent them to William Bartram in the 1790s. And a couple years ago, this tree in a storm lost most of its branches. And there's a little left and there's enough that the tree is regenerating. And images of this tree from 80 years ago, 100 years ago, show a tree with a totally different shape. That's what's really remarkable about yellow woods. They can almost get destroyed and can come back. would like to go out and look at some of these trees, you can go to the website pabigtrees.com.